Sasha. How are you? Good. good. It's always good to talk with you today. Yeah. A couple days after birthday. Yeah. So, I'm here today to talk to you about your future plans as a student athlete. Now, during my study and research on you, I know that you are one of the fastest kids around and you take academics seriously. But tell me, how long have you been playing football? I've been playing organized football since the age of nine. So. Okay. And what type of team, what, what organization did you play for? I played for a little league team called the Master Bears. Okay. And what position did you play? Growing up, I always played the position of playing quarterback uh, all through before high school. Once I got to high school, I really stopped growing. So I didn't really see myself being a quarterback because I didn't have the size to be a quarterback. But I still knew I had the athletic ability and speed to play football, and I knew I wasn't going to stop playing football. So I gave up playing quarterback and I really decided to move to wide receiver. And really, wide receiver is a position where I really can show my athletic ability in different ways as well. So I'm still okay with that. Do you see yourself growing anymore? Oh, of course, because my dad, my dad is six one. My mom is about five nine and a half. She's tall for a woman. So, I mean, I know I still have some growing to do. That's why I'm not even worried. So, once I do grow, we'll see what happens. Okay. You just got back from San Antonio, Texas. Yeah. Tell me a little bit about that. Wow. Uh, San Antonio. I got invited to San Antonio, Texas, to an um, All-American Army Combine. And it was for the top 500 juniors in the nation. And I, the reason why I love that so much is because around here, I'm Sean Mitchell, so I really, I really don't see the competition that I would see in San Antonio. When I went to San Antonio, it really opened up my eyes and allowed me to see the other competition that's out there. But at the same time, it allowed me to see if I could be better than them, then I'd be the best in the nation. And that's what I'm striving to be. What kind of time did you run um, when you were out there in San Antonio? When I was in San Antonio, I ran a 462 laser 40. I mean, I never ran a laser 40 before, so I really didn't know the technique and all, but I, I believe it was a good time. They said the fastest time there in history was a 455, so, so I think I did pretty good. Okay, so when I think about that, one of the things that coaches like to know, since you have it all going on, it appears to be that way, um, I guess the term would be, are you a coachable you know, growing up, I've always been in summer camp, and you know, we play football and you know, things like that. When I got older, I was older enough to have my own team. You know, I worked there over the summer, so I was older enough to have my own team, and I worked with little kids and taught them to get into football. And with we have my own team, I got to see how some little kids, you know, they just didn't want to do what I told them to do. And really, that that really showed me how it could be for a coach when a kid doesn't want to listen to his team, because it is the coach's team. Um, I feel like I'm a leader on the field. I'm another set of eyes for the coach on the field. But I'm always going to be a coach, a player that I, I, I'm able to play my role on the team wherever the coach wants me to play. What will you bring to a university that recruits Sean Mitchell Jr.? What would you bring in the classroom and what would you bring on the field? Uh, growing up, my mother and father always stressed to me how important grades were. So I guess as growing up, when I was growing up, when I was little, even a B, uh, students would see me in school actually getting upset when I got B's. You know, that kind of just carried on to me now because I was raised that way, so that's how I am now. Like, even, no, not, not saying I get upset when so I get a B now because the work gets harder, but I still like to put myself above average. I don't like to be with everybody else. I like to separate myself from others. As far as in the field, coaches can expect me to bring leadership, uh, bring a special mental ability to the game uh, and the love of football. A lot of people don't love the game of football. A lot of people don't even know the game of football. They just play it. They're good at it, but they, they don't know the game of football. A coach will be able to look at me as another set of eyes on the field for him. So that's something real special that I could bring to a college program that a lot of kids cannot. So I, I hear what you're saying. So you're a real leader. Yeah. So tell me about some times when you've been put in positions where you had to take charge. What did you do? 
Oh uh, well, you know, when I when I put in positions to take charge, you know, I never I never panic because, you know, I'm older I'm a, the older sibling, I'm the oldest brother. So I'm used to taking charge, you know, around the house and with my brothers. So really I don't wanna say that my teammates are like little brothers to me, but they are they are my brothers. So when I have to take charge, you know, I'm not really the one taking I'm really the one leading the way, but you know, while I'm doing that I still like to have my brothers right there behind me. So how does that make you feel being a leader? I like being a leader because, you know, like I said, with me being able to think things right with my mental game about football and such and about life, really, I really get to, you know, make the right decisions for the team and, and put the team in the right position to win. Okay. What type of team are you looking to play for? I'm looking to play for a team that's willing to willing to let me play football how I know I could play football. That's not going to hold back my athletic ability or hold back what I know I'm capable of doing. And a team that's really focused on winning. I want to be a part of a winning program and I want to be a part of helping that team win. Um, but as far as my success on the next level and things I know I'm, I can do, anything I do in life, I try to be the best. So, as far as going to the next level, I'm going to try to be the best. And however, wherever football takes me, I'm going to try to be the best wherever it takes me.